And now, after a hard-fought victory, the Saints are going into the next series against Newberry College. It's going to be a hard-fought victory. If there is going to be a victory here today, the last one, they're closely seated, but it still went the way of the Saints. But almost went the other way. It was anybody's game. But now we're getting into game. Here we are against Newberry College. Yeah, lined up for the Saints. Not just like a Priestley, Brandon, KB, Newberry College, a JT Solo, Diff, Cells, and KB Beasley. It's going to be a good start for Newberry. They get some time on the clock, but Saints are going to get all the kills back that they need. Going to get back onto the side and take uh, some points back that they very desperately want to start off with. Already taking some points back, and this is already looking more like the Saints hard points that we're used to. Just starting off very dominant in kills and also very dominant in control, but Newberry College keeping it competitive, getting kills here and there, and putting pressure on the Saints. As Insula is going to pick up one onto Cells, and looks like Saints are definitely getting the better of Newberry on these engagements. The trade comes through Brandon, beautiful pre fire there. Five kill streak to start off the map for Brandon. He was playing so, so good in that last series and is looking to continue his form here. Will fall down to Cells, but getting some crucial kills there to give the Saints first lead after the first hard point. Now it's going to be Newberry, the full control of the second point. It's going to be a good retake from the Saints if they want to get some points on the board. Yeah, and one thing I want to point out real quick is it's KB versus K Beasley right now. So I wonder which one we're in out here. It looks like it's gonna be KB as he finds one along with Enslay here. They're clearing out this point, making really good progress right now. Newberry not getting all too much progress on any of these points so far. Just trying to figure out an angle on the Saints and it's not quite working here. The Saints an amazing setup. I mean just look at Brandon. He's been amazing on these hard points here. Gonna be able to find one diff it does take down the Priestley, but Saints having full control of the hard points they look to be back to their peak form, absolutely slaughtering their opponents on this map. They're up 50, uh, 40 and counting, and it looks like they're going to try and take an even uh, bigger lead here as KB finds a crucial pick here. We'll look to lock up the good spawn for the Saints. It's going to be just him and Priestley. Have to do God's work here. Priestley does fall as well. Early on, Cell's going to look for the shots onto KB here, but all he has to do really is stay alive back there for as long as possible. Wait for his team to come and help him out. Not just they're going to take down Diff. KB will take down one with him, but is that enough time for the Saints to get the good spawns? No, it's not. Newberry going to have the good spawns, but still the kills are going the Saints way. Kills going the Saints way, and so are the points right now. There's 70 to 17. He's absolutely having an amazing time right now, but just like that, JT, JT, JT Solo manages to take down a few, but KB going to answer that right back along with Enslaya here. Just continuing to make consistent progress, and the Saints is having an absolutely dominant game right now. Yeah, Nacho Slayer is going to be able to get his Hellstorm there as well. They go in an 8 spree in the middle of all that skirmishing. It's going to be Saints taking enormously as Newberry hasn't been able to get any points on any time as of late, but finally going to break through there. Try and pick up some garbage time, but it looks like they don't even want that. They're going to be trying to run over to the next side, and it looks like finally they're going to get some kills together. They will get control of this hard point as they look to hold on. Saints going to need to do a lot to find the retake here. Now Newberry College looking like they're getting their heads back in the game here. They have a nice setup, but now they fall apart as they find one. There's a trade. Another trade comes out from the Saints. Once again, there's just two more holding this point. With the spawns on their side, though, they're going to be quickly back here once again. They find another kill. Clear this one out. They need to flip the spawn. There's a big jump shot, but it doesn't quite go his way. Brandon right, falls down. But the rest of the Saints are picking up the kills left and right. They finally get control of the objective, but Solo finds one on the flank there. But Brandon Nacho say getting a couple back as well. The Saints not able to get onto the objective themselves, but able to deny it from Newberry College. And now when the point's gonna flip in about 10 seconds, the time will go over to Newberry College, but these spawns should be in the Saints' advantage. You can see they're all starting to rotate other than KB, who's gonna get a nice little flank opportunity here going up mid, but the rest of the Saints is gonna be setting up here. And KB does find the melee onto JT Solo. The rest of the Saints finding kills left and right. KB does fall, but should get the respawns here. Saints have full control of this point. They're gonna look to attack on these points. They're looking to start a massive attack right here. Newberry gets a nice point there, almost getting halfway to the Saints score limit. The Saints are going to stretch that goal, that, that lead even further here as JT Solo finds one that long range. We're not going to do all too much. The Saints still comfortable on this point. They find one. They're going to find another. There's a big snipe with the pistol there, but Enslaya just being so solid on this point here. 
Brandon does get taken down. KB will find the trade though and still really good for the Saints as the time is ticking in their favor. Cells can look to touch the point is finally looks like New Bear is going to find a bit of control here on this side but Priestley going to instantly shut that one down. Should collect these garbage time seconds as well. Let's see if that is going to pick him up. No, he's able to stay alive on 12 AP. Should get these last few seconds. Should go down to JT Solo as well here as there's going to be the kill coming through but now Saints going to be setting up for the next hard point. It's going to be all on KB here. He does fall down so it's a good start for Newberry as they look to begin their comeback. You gotta be wondering if this is just a little bit of a fluke on Newberry's part, part as they did manage to win out their games. There's a nice double kill. It looks like they're starting to warm up here. Now it looks like Nensai is going to move in here going for the kill here. He has the pistol drawn. He's on the hunt. You're going to just completely disregard that though as the point is the main point of contention right here. He basically get, gets one and Slay gonna get one right back. Now there's a big chase of the pistol. Don't oh. get the kill though with the tubers. That's the switch. There it is. Get the kill once again. There it is back and forth, back and forth here. Newberry getting a lot of time here on this point. Yeah, JT Solo just holding that one down all by his lonesome, but finally Saints gonna look to push through. They get all of the members. Four for all ace. We'll get the garbage time seconds, but still a decent point coming out here from Newberry. They didn't lose too, too much. A long 1v1 there. Brand's gonna fall down. Nacho Slayer though, 19 and 4 on this map to start off. He's on absolute fire, picks up his 20th kill of the game, has that kill streak, doesn't want to overlap it. Might look to use that one quickly as he is on the 5 kill spree. Let's see if that Hellstorm missile comes down anytime soon. Nacho will fall, so won't be able to get a second Hellstorm, but control point for the Saints. They have the full lockdown, they have the good spawns. They just need to find the trades here, but the trades are going in the favor of New Bears. They're going to find all the Saints. There's going to be just Nacho Slayer here in the 1v2 scenario on the point. The Saints not going to be able to hold down down Newberry. What can make their way back into this map? Yeah, Newberry making this one very competitive here, trying to bring it themselves back in the map, but they're still halfway, a little under halfway. The Saints point line right now. Saints struggling to get inside this warehouse here. They're going to be able to get in, and Nacho Slayer finds one. The rest of his team did fall, so it's going to be Newberry back up to 100 points here now. It's going to be only 50 points behind the Saints. The Saints get the early rotation. Having that lead allows you to go early on the rotating. KB going to find a crucial double kill. That's going to give Saints at least a first 20 seconds of control here as Newberry have to run across the whole map. You're going to see Priestley fall down very early on, but he falls down so far up the map. He's going to respawn by the time the push comes through. Can KB find a kill there? No, he won't be able to as Newberry finally Getting on to this attack. Nancy Nacho Slayer has to be careful here not to go down. Will stay alive. Brandon will be able to find one. Nacho finds the second. Brandon does fall down, but the trades there from KB. Saints gonna stack on so much time here. There's nobody from Newberry is anywhere in sight. Yeah, Saints doing an amazing job right now. There's one from Nancy gonna move over, try and find something else here. No, it's not gonna go their way though. Newberry struggling to get themselves onto this point. The Saints climb even further and further and they're just about to break that point in which they're just one solid hard point away from victory now. They're at that point now. They're at 200 and it looks like they're going to get these last 10 seconds. So they're going to be at 210, only 40 points away from victory. And it looks like they're back in their groove. They're completely decimating Newberry in both kills and objective time. Nacho say a 24 and 8. Definitely stand up player on this map for the Saints. JT Solo though. Gonna find a couple kills for his side. Newberry as he looks to get onto the point and get that time taking. Newberry needs a miracle to bring this one back in Saints. Gonna find a couple picks very, very early on. Diff has to go crazy here on the flank. Can he get anything done? Priestley does fall down to Diff, but they won't be able to find the trade actually on 2 HP. Diff will survive. The old nice little predator missile there. Kill onto JT Solo. We'll stop the progress of the point for just a second. Priestley gonna find one. KB does fall down. Nacho gonna find the trade, but the trades are good for Newberry as they still keeping the Saints away from the point. They're doing a great job of keeping the Saints away from the point, but they're not going to take the point from themselves, losing out on a lot of points. Saints still going to get this last 15 seconds here and eke themselves even further to the win of this game one. Now another kill going over the brand, and that's going to be a clean one, just putting them back a little bit further here. Now, as we see, looks like Enslay here trying to move in for this next site, watching it carefully like Hawk. 20 more... 25 more points and counting Saints can try and finish this one off quickly, but we're going a little bit too quickly. Not just say I will find one, but it does get traded out. The rest of his team was dead, so not much follow up there. Great stop from Newberry as they're able to hold on to the site initially. Let's see how the Saints choose to approach this one. Playing it very, very slowly. They know they have a lot of time to work with. They're gonna use that toward their advantage. An opening pick for them. 
but not too much space made up just yet. JT Solo is going to be the sole member here on this hard point. The contest comes through. Priestley will find one onto K. Beasley. JT Solo finds Brandon, but does uh, get traded out in the end. Priestley going to find second with his pistol. Diff does fall. Nobody alive here for the side. Newberry Saints could look to almost close out the map here, but won't be able to get the finish just yet. It looks like Newberry will give up this garbage time as Saints are going to be 10 points away from the finish here. Yeah, Saints just barely away from that finish line here. Look at, looks like they're going to get a nice couple few points here, though. But now, just eight points away. This is going to be very competitive. Crazy last point. Newberry needs to play with everything they have left in them. And now the trades are coming out. The Saints making good progress over to this attack here. Now, Newberry racking up some points as well on the defense here. They're going to try and hold this one down with all their might there. There's a trade from Brandon and Looks like that's also Cells taking trade as well. Brandon going in, KB getting another. This might be the opening they need. Now, just a little bit, even the garbage time will take them over the edge here. Newberry can't give up any points over to the Saints. There's a trade of the pistol once again. There, they're playing very defensively. And Slay Funds 1, and Slay Funds 2. That might be the opening they need. Need this third pick to close this one out, but he can't quite get it, but KB does. Now, they're gonna make some progress here. Just gonna hold it down for a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two points away, one point away. The Saints are about to close this one out, and they do, taking game one. With a very, a very strong showing there from the Saints. They kind of blew out the water over Newberry Colors there. They take the win in pretty dominant fashion, and they're going to have the 1-0 lead this time going in the series. I took the words right out of my mouth there. That was an amazing <laughs> gameplay all around from the Saints. It looks like they're back in the swing of things once again. Yeah, we, we see the we talked about how they good good they are in the respawn game was and they showed it there, playing it flawlessly and I think they're back in their groove that first series might have just been a bit of an off game for them, but you could see how good they are when they're on their game. But we're gonna be going to search and destroy next. They were flawless in the last series in the search and destroy, not something we expected, but if they can continue that way of playing, this could be looking like a clean sweep. Yeah, it could be a clean sweep, you know, it's a little bit of a it's, it's strange, you know, with how tough that last game was. This one seems to be way more favored than the Saints. But once again, we might see that S&D difference come into effect once again. Maybe this team is more of an S&D team. We'll know soon enough. We're going to throw it to a quick break, but we'll be right back with the next game.
Here we are loading into game two, SND. St. Clair taking a dominant first hard point here. But now going into SND, we'll see if they can still have that mojo they had in the first. And it looks like they're going to be playing pretty aggressively here on this A site, but Newberry going to be pushing the B site. It's going to be just a Priestly on this B site all by himself. Can he do enough to slow down the push? of uh, Newberry, let's see. As we get underway, good stuns coming out from the Saints, making sure they slow down that push. Priestley has a great angle here as Newberry seems to play it a bit slowly, almost finds the first kill, sells, lives on 45 HP, gets some info from the Saints, but still 50 seconds to go, no kills found yet. Or just yet, but now things are moving pretty slowly right now. Everyone. No one wants to make that jump so far. There's Priestley getting the first kill. It's a great start for the Saints. Priestley actually going to pick up three instantly. So that should be a very, very easy round for the Saints. Not sure how they lined up <laughs> for him there, but it's going to wow. be a clean ace for the Saints. They're going to take a 1-0 lead as they look to keep the ball rolling against Newberry. An amazing defensive round for the Saints. This map, a little bit harder to play the defense on. The Saints have did it perfectly. And props to Priestley for wiping out 75% of the team right there in just a few seconds. And now the Saints prepping their attack. It's looking pretty, pretty interesting here. Yeah, let's see what they can get done on this attacking side. They like pushing this B side a little bit more. You don't see them go too much towards the A side. It's, it looks like they're going to be going for that initial push onto B. It's going to be just Brandon looking over that A long. Yeah, this is looking at pretty good now for Newberry as the Saints struggling to make any good progress. Going for an interesting split push here. If they can find a pick. Any t if any team can find a pick here, that will really spell how this one's going to go here. Wow, that's like a very, very low here. Now, can they flip this one around? He has bomb. The Saints struggling to find a good angle of approach here. Can go down the mid side, try and clear that one out, spraying him down, and him further and further and further. Still no picks. Diff getting tagged up a lot there, but will be able to stay alive. Saints, it looks like they made their way onto this A side. The plan's gonna go down. Pussy does get hit by a stun. And 8 coming out from Celts. That does pick up KB, but the plan still goes down nonetheless. Priestley somehow makes it out of his life as Saints have a 3v4 post plant situation. Let's see how this side play this one. It's uh, only has the SMG. Can play the long angle. Do too well. Brandon with a huge kill onto JT Solo. Will be able to stay alive with his life. And it's like a beautiful flank here, but does get spotted out. Not able to find the kill onto Diff. Brandon falls as well. It's going to be just Priestley in the 1v3 scenario. Bomb is down 20 seconds and taking so still very, very winnable for Priestley here. Can he find one pick early here on the palm? Yes, he does. Now has to be careful not to get shot in the back. He will do so. And with 10 seconds remaining, the diffuse will more than surely come through as it's going to be tied up by one apiece. An amazing defense in Newberry College, and how I'm beginning to think maybe it's the, not the map, but just how the teams play against each other. And it seems like this is going to be a very important defensive uh, game here. Absolutely, they were able to find the picks early on, and Saints, once they lose that number advantage, it's hard to keep uh, the pressure from uh, flooding all over you. And you saw Newberry did a great job of using all of their players to get in uh, deep there. and get in the flanks, get the kills when they need it to, and they're able to take a round away from the Saints. And on the attack, Newberry has to find a way to break through here. For sure, they have to try and find some way to break through the Saints' defense. And now, you gotta be hoping that play from Priestley was not all that this defense hinged on. The Saints need to find this kill very well. And there it is, Mensleya taking down Bomb very early. Now they just oh, play the nice. defense. There's another kill from Mensleya. And now it gets taken down by Cells, but now, this is looking very, very interesting for the Saints. It's a 3v2 scenario. Bomb not in the hands of Newberry yet. They're just going to wait for the Saints to push up maybe a little bit too far. Confirm that the bomb is still there. Saints are not going to fall for it. They're confident. Yeah, it's a great start to the round for the Saints. Going to have the 3v2 advantage. That's Mary Hubert have a beautiful flank here from Diff. I don't think Priestley has any idea that there could be a player behind him, and he can't hear him there. That's a beautiful flank. Not even sure how he got in behind the Saints, but it was a great, great play from the flanker nonetheless. And now it's going to be a free bomb plant on to B. Saints having full control of this round kind of just fell apart somehow, and 
gonna have to work hard to get uh, this one back. The plant goes down just in a second. There it is. Brandon spots one now, but only has the SMG. It's gonna be on KB to maybe find this opening pick with his AR, as he does have that longer distance. Firing throws out the nade into the corner there. Is Dip gonna go down KB? Beautiful placement there's Brandon. Spots out the last opponent, has the submachine gun. We'll look for the push. Cells finds one. Brandon, KB gonna have the pistol. Cells gonna find the 1v2 close range corner. Is gonna take that one down. Newberry College go up 2-1. And now we're seeing the Saints' nerves with SMD kind of kick in here. A very clean kill for themselves. Not to put down Newberry College, they're playing very, very well. But I think Saints maybe get a little bit too comfortable sometimes when they're in the victory with or in the leading position for SD. As you saw, they had bomb down, they had really good positions, but they didn't try and maintain that. They just sat back, they felt good enough. But then that gave Newberry a little bit too much leeway to try and make this work from, and, and they did. Yeah, it was a great round from Newberry, and a push from Cells will definitely help out. Great push uh, from them. Now they're going to need to defend against these uh, Saints who can be so explosive on uh, the attack. Let's see how they decide to play this one. They're going to be going up mid from uh, the look of uh, things here. And looks like they're going to get the plant down on A. Very, very early on. This is a great start for the Saints. Nobody from Newberry going to be challenging that one. Actually, the shots come out there. The bomb is planted, but the bomb yet again. Cell's going to find the pick with that grenade. Such crucial picks the Saints are getting picked off with by the nades. And that's another pick going to KB. Beasley. It's going be a 2v4. Very, very hard to hold here for the Saints. Still, KB is alive. Gonna try and find something very early on to maybe give the Saints a ch fighting chance, but he's gonna go down as well. 4v1 scenario. Brandon, nearly unwinnable scenario here. Will get taken down to 1 HP, but as soon as he peeks at corner, will get taken down. Newberry catching some fire and going up 3-1 on this map. Yeah, starting to get some momentum here, and things are looking pretty dicey. It's 3-1. Saints need to win this next round, or else I'm just gonna call it here and say it's gonna go over to Newberry. Yeah, without a doubt, Saints struggling on this map after the hot start, but they still have a lot of COD in them. They're only down a couple of rounds here and we saw how quickly things can turn in this S&D game mode. So let's see if they can get a round back at a time. Can't think that you can win the whole uh, map back just in one round. You need to take it slowly, one kill at a time, one round at a time. And that's definitely what they're thinking about. Cells also on a five spree, one kill away from a Hellstorm missile. Sounds like they're taking down to one HP. He's been so close to dying each round here, but able to stay alive as it looks like Newberry are taking control of this objective. Yeah, taking control, Cells doing an amazing job at just not dying, just being so persistent here. Now Bomb looking like it's going to go down on A, but we have KB guarding it with his life. Huge concussion on the side of Newberry, but it's not going to do all too much as he's going to maintain his position. Not move, unwavered, and unshakable. Hiding behind there is and grenade. big grenade by Solo. I mean, it seems like Newberry have these grenade lineups set up perfectly every single round for the past three rounds. I'm pretty sure they've been able to find a grenade kill and it's been an opening pick. Now a plant comes through, Brandon finds one. Gonna have to go around the corner, find a second. It's not just like gonna find one in the, in the 2v4. Saints looks like they're gonna be fighting back to the nail here. They do, they find all of the kills. They're gonna find the round in, <laughs> in a miracle comeback. They find the 2v4 and they take the round. A beautiful round from the Saints, bringing it back from the brink, and now they're back in this. It is three to two. As long as they play this defense perfectly, or this attack perfectly, they should have themselves back in the game here. Without a doubt, and now they need to play the attack perfectly, as you said. It's not easy to do on this map, and against a team like Newsbury, who have been playing so, so well so far in this uh, map it's not gonna be easy but let's see if our saints can switch things up they did go a a couple times they got the plant down but just could not play the post plant they lost their numbers advantage early on so they're gonna have to switch something up here looks like they're gonna push that a site and they're gonna look to take those long engagements to their advantage yeah they're gonna take these very very carefully here with the truck, using the truck itself as cover, he's got to be a little bit careful because if that thing explodes, he's going to be taking a lot of damage here, man, just to get out, but Cape easily gets one from the Saints. Great start for a Newberry College, KB does fall, and that just halts the attack of the Saints. They can't really push in without one of their most important members alive, so let's see how they decide to proceed with this one. 
Looks like they're going to try and push up mid and maybe make their way over to Ava Beasley in a very, very dangerous position. They have no idea he's there. Finds the flank. Will not find any, though. I think Saints might have hurt him. And the fact that everyone stayed alive for the Saints makes this a very, very even matchup now. 3v3. Could Saints pull off another comeback in the round? The plant on A should be going down in just a second. Brandon has a speaking uh, suspicion. There might be one on the flank, but doesn't check for a diff. Beautiful trigger discipline. This should lead to a killer too, as his teammates are now just baiting for him. He's going to be behind them. Saints are going to be wondering, how did he get there? Priestley now in a 1v3 will find one, but in this 1v2 situation, going to have to pick his gunfights accordingly. Just pick them very, very carefully indeed. There's another one going over solo here. There it is. Starting the defuse, and with all the Saints down, Newberry going to be eking even closer to victory here. 4-2-2. Two, two. They have definitely taken a solid lead here, but we've seen crazier comebacks. Maybe the Saints can turn this one around here. Yeah, without a doubt, 4-2 still a very, very winnable, but Newberry just looking very good on the search and destroy, if I have to be honest. And the Saints just struggling big time to get anything going their way. They're going to be on the defensive end this time yet again, so going to have to play a perfect defensive round in order to bring this one back. Newberry struggling on offense here and there, but finding a couple of rounds here and there that also matter that that much. And Saints definitely struggling on the offensive side as of late, but let's see what they decide to do on the attack. Newberry choosing to go up a B, and if they can get into that site, get the plant down. Saints having good retake so far this game. They're able to retake pretty well when Newberry gets the bomb down really early on, but other than that, Newberry have just been able to find the first picks. These grenade kills, I think, are going to be talked about by the Saints. They're just going to be wondering, how do we get picked off by a nade? Basically, every single round. So, this round, nobody died from a nade. I wonder if that's going to be the difference maker in the round for the Saints here. Perhaps. Maybe they made some changes so they're not in the lanes of these nades no more. But we'll see if that will be the difference maker here. So far, Newberry not having the pleasure of moving in very quickly. That's a a little bit of a bad exchange for KB, but he manages to get out right there. Priestly moving over as well. And Slaya trying to find a good position. Right now, no kills have been traded out, but right now, it's looking very, very dicey. Bomb's right there, and KB gets him down from the back line there. Bomb is still being marched forth onto this A site. Oh and there's God. another kill by Enslay, but it's not going to be enough for KB as he gets the trade. Now it is a 1v3 situation for Newberry, and they manage to win this one out. Great plays by the Saints. Great job by the Saints there. A huge, huge play by Nacho Slayer. Able to buy time, and find a kill, and then personally gets shot by, gets straight out immediately. Priestley getting the final kill here of the round as well. Will give this round over to the Saints as they look to make their way back into this one. Now only one round behind, but still, still have to have that one round at a time mentality. You can't finish off the map here. You still have to play slowly, play good Call of Duty, and just when you get that number advantage, you can see when they get the first kill of the round, the round just looks so much more in their favor. Exactly, they just need that first domino to tip over, and then they all start falling down. There it is, trying to get the spray down, the suppressive fire from Newberry is so, so, so strong, but it's not going to be strong enough to stop the Saints, but K. Beasley might be the strong soldier here, and he gets the kill on Brandon. They don't get the trade. There it is, Priestley going to take that one out. That's a 3v3 situation. It's going to be so dicey. Now things are very careful. It's the calm before the storm. Saints are trying to figure out which site they want to push onto first. Be easy, easier site, but it's a little bit harder to defend, but that might be what they need. There it is. There's the smoke. Looks like they're going to commit over to B, and now the rest of Newberry is going to rotate over to try and match that pace. Let's see how the post plant is played by the Saints here. Newberry have had a pretty good record this this map on the post plant situation. Solo gonna find some shots onto Priestley there in cells. Gonna be looking over mid, but all three members from the Saints are on this objective. There's gonna be a huge one going here between KB and Diff. That could be the round ending kill. As now KB is gonna be in that back line, uncontested. JT Solo struggling to walk through your cells. Find some nice shots on to Priestley, about 24 seconds and counting. It's looking really, really good for the Saints now. They're gonna try and push through a smoke here, but no cigar. JT Solo gonna take down and to 7 HP, but he's still alive. KB finds the kill onto Cell. JT Solo in the one. 3 situation will get shot at from all angles and will go down Saints top the map at four apiece. And now if the Saints can keep this momentum moving, they actually might be able to take this one back here, back from the brink. I remember when this was 4-2 just a few rounds ago, but just as quickly as they were in the loss, they are now back in the lead. They yeah. are back in the game here.
Yeah, and you can see how quickly this SND uh, game mode can turn around. Saints were losing, 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 and then all of a sudden, just like that, they're right back into it. So this can be a very, very crucial round. A winner of this round only needs one more to close out the map. Saints did take map one, so taking this second map could definitely be a step in the right direction. But if Newberry want to get a comeback off, this round is going to be the round they need to win. I predict whoever wins this round will take the map. So the early challenge comes out from Brandon and Diff. Nobody gonna drop down just yet as looks like Newberry choosing to play it a bit slow. Saints not afraid to push up. Still no picks coming through from either side with a minute left. A minute left in the map. And right now things are looking nice for Newberry. They're wasting too much time. Brandon just doing great with this suppressive fire, keeping them down, keeping them at bay. Now with the smoke, he's gonna have to back off, play a little bit closer, going back to his second spot, still far back. Now, just waiting for him to funnel on through. Great angle from Brandon, oh. but he doesn't win the gunfight as that's gonna be Diff getting the win there. And now another goes down from the Saints. It's a 2v4 situation, not looking great. And now, look at that. They're all falling down. It's down to just KB, a 1v4 situation. If there's ever a time to clutch, now is the time. This is going to be a very crucial round going forward. Finds one, find another, and he does not. And that's gonna be Newberry College taking the lead. Five to four, and now they're on match point. Yeah, they're on map point here. I said whoever takes this round will be taking the map, but Saints still have a chance, obviously far from over. Still need that little two round streak they just went on to go on that one again, but map point for Newsberry. They the first map they didn't look too strong against the Saints, but in the second map, in the search and destroy, they have definitely looked very, very solid. Still Saints putting up a great, great fight. Let's see what they decide to do on the attacking side. Looks like B-Site will be their choice of site yet again. The peaks go through mid. KB and Cells looking for some very, very long shots. Cells taking out to 30 HP, but knows his limits enough to hide behind cover. When taken down low, KB easily will find the opening pick, and that's not a good start for the Saints. We've seen them win these before, though, so still far from over. But now, it looks like Newberry have an extra member there on B to make sure that that's locked down. Saints praying desperately that someone from Newberry oversteps, but that doesn't seem to be happening in time soon. It's not seem to be happening at all. There's bullets being flying up back and forth on each side, but it's not going to go the way the Saints as they lose another. K. Beasley Brandon finds one, but still, it's a 2v3 scenario. They're still in the lot losing scenario right now. They need to find another kill, even this one up, but with time ticking, they only have 40 seconds left to do so. Things are not looking good for the Saints. This is the last point that they have the chance to do anything here. If they lose this one, they're going to lose the entire map. There's one hiding in mid there. Diff in such a dangerous position. They have no idea that he's there. Cells gonna throw a nade. Brandon does find one. Can he find a second? No one's pushing him as of right now. Saints put themselves in a beautiful scenario here. Priestley gonna find the shots on the player, on the car. Now it's a 2v1 for the Saints. Brandon's able to spot him out. The shots come through. Can the finish follow up? Yes, it will. We're going to a final and decisive round 11 is a search and destroy <laughs> as Saints look to take a 2-0 lead in the series. What the heck were those angles there? They found one behind the trash bin. Brandon just to have had some foresight here yeah. to be like, oh, he's waiting there. That's the cheese spot. I've been there before. <laughs> Turned around, Definitely got has. the kill after the plant. And just amazing gameplay all around from the Saints. Brandon Priestley clutching out the round. Now it's 5v5. Only one more round left in this map. Whoever takes this will take the map. If the Saints get this, they'll be on series point as well. I know they want this. Absolutely, Saints. Want to show to all the teams that their search and destroy game has improved drastically and they need to win this map to really show that to the rest of the competition. It's going to be them on the defensive end, Newberry on the attack. They're going to be going for a B push. Let's see if Saints can find any very, very early picks. These first picks have been going Newberry's way, but Saints still able to hang on in there and keep this game close. Now Priestley knows the push coming through, finds some big shots there, but knows he's going to get pushed into the back. Brandon's going to be helping him out there. First pick goes over to the Saints and everyone stays alive. No trade comes through as Priestley's just checking around this box. Can he find the shots here? Just waiting for JPZ. As Diff is going to go down as well. Saints up 4v2 would be a tragedy if they throw this one away. Priestley does go down. It's only a 3v2 now. Brandon just peeking there for information but not actually looking to find the kill. Bomb is down crucially out in the open. Can Saints just look over this one? Brandon in a crucial, crucial position here. Peeks out with a pistol. Doesn't get pushed off. It looks like the plant will come through from JT solo but it looks like Cells is 
in a dangerous position, does find one. The trade comes through. Saints have a 2v1 post plant situation. JT Solo going to need another huge clutch to bring this one home. This is going to be crazy. This is not impossible for Solo, but this is going to be very tough. Saints moving in. Doesn't get the trade. Very, very low. They got the kill. And that is going to be the deep fuse. And that is going to be the Saints getting the lead in this series, bringing it back from the brink here. What a comeback here. Look at that, two in the series and winning this map out six to five. And they're gonna be putting themselves on a match point in control. They look so, so good on control in the last series. If, let's see if they can take it home this time. It's gonna be still a hard for battle. Newberry putting up a very, very good battle there in SND, but we saw in the hard point, Saints just looked a bit stronger in the respawn game mode. Definitely, and now as we're heading into the next respawn game mode, we're gonna see if the Saints can turn this into a 3-0 sweep after they've gotten such big momentum after that really hard fought first series. But we're gonna have that control game after a quick break, so we'll see you then.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to Game 3. St. Clair College on Series Point. It's Control of Respawn Game Mode on paper. Things are lining up for them, but Newberry is ready to show us something different. Yeah, without a doubt, Saints looked very, very strong in the first respawn game mode. It looks like it's going to be full on a push from Dubair stealing a book out of the Saints playbook. They're going to have all three members on that one, but KB finds the one on the roof. Now they know that the last two members are sitting inside of here. Priestley finds one as well, but Cell's finding a couple. We'll get taken down low. It's going to be all up to uh, up to KB here in the 1v1 against Priestley. Priestley finds it so close to getting the cap, but that initial stop is what you really need. But now Newberry are on the B side. For an alternating push strat right here, but it looks like the Saints are ready for it after that last series. But now, playing amazingly here, it gets taken out of a good handgun once again. There it is, trade right back. The Saints are looking very, very good. It looks like Newberry's eyeing to steal this A site, though. Yeah, this should be the A site going over to Newberry with relative ease, as there it is, it's secured. Now, it's going to be all on the Saints to defend this B site. KB finds one, gets traded out, but it looks like Saints are going to be on that B site with relative ease. Cells does fall. They do have two minutes and many, many lives remaining, so not something we saw too much early on, but it looks like Saints able to find all the kills very, very early on. And this is crucial. On this defensive side, Brandon is pushing into the spawn. He's able to find three already. JT Solo going to fall to Priestley as well as Saints are completely running away with this one. And they're in their spawn, just spawn camping them, which gives Newberry not much room to work with. Brandon does fall down, but Priestley still going to be able to find one. Saints doing a great, great job of nullifying that time advantage that Newberry had. And they're also down to only 15 lives with a minute remaining. Yeah, sure, you give up that point, but now they just have to funnel in through only a few short Short choices here. Now Priest is going to find one. Looking for JT Solo as well. Finds the kill as well. That's going to be Enslab picking that one up. Brandon on the flank as well, holding things up. It looks like K Beasley trying to go for a cheeky flank, but deciding against it. And now he's going to go across these rooftops here and try and get the jump on the Saints. He has a really nice angle on them. Already, already indoors and on this B site here. Yeah, and KBZ is going to find a pick onto and slay but still Saints doing a good job of playing relatively safe. Brandon's on a massive flank, can he pick up a kill on that one? He will be able to find Cell. JT Solo finds a pick on KB, but does get cheered out. This is still very good for the Saints as it looks like Newberry just can't seem to put a push together. Brandon's doing God's work this round, seven and three now, but getting into such prime positions, able to stop Newberry's pushes in their tracks. Let's see how. How the Saints decide to defend this final push from Newberry. 17 seconds and ticking. KB gonna find the first pick with a nade there. Diff has to push up a little bit alongside his teammates. Has only 10 seconds left. JT Solo finds and slay up, but Brandon's gonna find the trade. Cells does find one as well. KB playing inside the site. Cells finds a second as maybe it's a nice last breath of fresh air for the side of Newberry, but Priestley is gonna pick up a couple headshots there. This should be the round for the Saints as they look to get back in on the this site, but actually Newberry gonna be on here. No respawns remaining, however, so they're gonna have to do with the last three members alive, and doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. They get a tick. Saints coming back in with their numbers advantage, able to pick up cells as well. JT solo drops, and that's gonna be the first round going towards the Saints. Very nice round for the Saints. They brought it all the way there, but Newberry taking that first one record time. They had a very good round as well. We'll, we'll see how how things will shake up after we flip sides here. Sure, we know the Saints defense is good, but defense is a little bit easier to do in the first couple rounds. Now on the attack, we'll see, have to see if the Saints still have the chops they had in that first series. Now going forward, excited to see what Newberry does on the defense. Will they opt for the vertical hold on top of these buildings or will they maybe go for a more straightforward approach. Yeah, I mean, Saints love getting four man onto this A side. That's exactly how they're gonna start off this map. They do it against every every team. I don't know if there's any scouting going on anywhere, but there definitely is. But I think Saints just play it so, so well. They're getting a couple of picks early on from Brandon, and that's gonna be the point instantly taken by the Saints. They're gonna look to now make their way over to B as Newberry are not really set up too well, but they will find Saints on the rotate. Saints now have to not kind of fall into the same trap that they just had on the defensive end where they just couldn't seem to get an attack going on the B side. Exactly. Well, 
on that trap, and it looks like they're not going to. They're moving as a squad, moving very efficiently here. Sure, they're losing a few guys out here in no man's land, but now it's opened up here. They're already on the site. It's going to be K Beasley going in with a pinch with his teammate trying to get it out, but he finds one. Will he find two? Oh. He will! And now there's a third coming through, and he doesn't find it, but nonetheless, that opens up enough for his team, and now B is slowly being taken here by the Saints. And you can see where they're respawning. Brandon just mowing them down, able to get a couple picks. KB gonna find one as well. It's gonna be all up to dip here. He does fall down as well. Saints gonna have a beautiful position here on this B site. First tick is gonna be coming through. Let's see if Saints can find a couple more kills here. And so gonna find one, gonna find the second as that's gonna be a second tick coming through for the Saints in just a few seconds. And the kills are still coming through for the Saints. Newberry can't seem to get the contest going. This round's gonna be over in just a second. It's only green in the kill feeder. Saints put themselves on match point up to O in the control game. Mode. And now they just have to play this defense once more over unless Newberry does something different here. I think this might go over to the Saints. They are playing amazingly right now. They've just been on an entire hot streak ever since halfway through that S&D. They're looking to close this one out in a major way, a 3-0 sweep. We're going to see if Newberry has something to change things up on the offense. I mean, New Bears gonna have to do a lot of changing up to get back into this one. Brandon and Priestley having an absolute monster series. Usually when KB doesn't have uh, the biggest of performances, Saints don't really uh, perform that well as well. But now Brandon and Priestley really picking up uh, that uh, slack there and having great, great performances for themselves on this map. Let's see how this is gonna start off. Priestley finds a pick, finds another one, but two kills come through for Newberry there. Another one comes through, it's gonna be just one member here, but Enslayer, gonna find the double kill another hero play coming out for the saints they're only going to give up one tick and now they're going to full control of both sides as it looks like newberry going to push onto that b side you're on the b side they have the high ground here gunning them down from above now he's trying to go through the back door doesn't Big quite find kill. it brandon gonna find one gonna find another and is gonna find one as well there's only one more left on the side of newberry and he's cowering for his life but kb takes that one as well they're gonna rush back over to a to try and get some progress trying to go for an alternating strap but it's not gonna go well as the Saints are just picking them off one by one in this building outside wherever they may be the Saints will find them and Saints are up four lives early on. It looks like they're going to give another tick over on that A side, but I think they're still going to try and fight it in the end here. Priestley going to find one. Almost picks up the second. Is almost going to find the second. Finds it with a pistol. The KB finds the third. It's just Diff versus KB, and KB is going to be able to pick that one up. Another huge little victory for the Saints. 16 lives now remaining for the side of Newberry College as they still don't have the A point captured. Now 15 lives as Brandon finds one. Can he find the second? Priestley going to be helping him out. Sets does uh, does pick up one onto Priestley, but it's desperate times now for Newberry College as they're gonna look to push in. Brandon will pick that one up. Five kill streak for him. One more for that predator. Almost picks it up there. Now it's gonna be on KB, who's on a five kill streak of his own. Gonna be one kill away from that hellstorm as well. The A control capture is coming through. Priestley does fall, and Ensia falls down as well. That does secure the A site for Newberry College. But now they need to get this B site. They only have 12 lives remaining, and only a minute 15. It's gonna be all on KB's on this flank to find a couple of entry points. That's all, KB Beasley almost gets one, doesn't get the clean kill though, but double kill on the side of Newberry is gonna be nice for them, gonna open up this map by quite a bit, and then that's gonna be a huge kill as well. The Saints clamoring to get back into this. It looks like Newberry has flipped the momentum in their favor. There's a pistol trade right there, and now they're gonna keep on moving. Every single pick matters for the Saints here, but it looks like Diff has just turned it up a notch in this later parts of the round. One tick over on that beside, it's gonna be pretty much one more defensive push from the Saints here. Brandon gonna do a lot of damage there. Enslayer finds a big pick. There's a second to come through. Now Saints gonna rush into the site. Two for two trade. Can Brandon find the third? Yes, he does. It's gonna be all up to JT Solo here, all by himself on this B side. Gonna look to push through, but now Saints have fully re recaptured this one. JT Solo drops down, but still a couple picks going over to Newbury College. KB has to be careful here. Nacho Seiya will fall down. It's gonna be only KB left alive here as the chaos continues. All kills coming down. Five lives are mating here for the side of Newberry College, but they are able to find the kills. The points being captured through five, six lives to four, but Saints have to get on the site. The stun's there, and that's going to be the round going over to Newberry College. No stun there, and Saints probably could have contested that one a little bit further, but Newberry, perfect timing on the stun, and there's JT Solo getting the final kill at single the round. Now, one to two, Newberry finally gets himself back in this race, and it's up to the Saints to do one more perfect attacking run. These first two rounds were flawless for them, but now it looks like Newberry's wisened up to St. Clair Strats. We 
have to see if they have any more cards left up their sleeve. Yeah, it looks like Saints just kind of fell apart as Newberry turned it up a notch and the series is still far from over. You need to close it out here. You don't want to send it to a decisive fifth point in this map. So let's see what the Saints side to do on the attack. This time they're going to go for that B push with a fake on A. It's a great, great strategy. KB going to pick up that opening kill, but he will drop down Priestley. Well, Gabe will find one. Is going to find the second as well. Saints going to be in that B side very, very early on. They have full control of it as well. It looks like Newberry is going to be sending all their numbers toward that one. As now, let's see how Saints play the 2v3 hold. Exactly. They made a lot of nice progress up around B. They're going for the B capture first, and then they're going to funnel in all on A. There it is. Trading it back and forth. They're just trying to get the mix up on him. He keep him guessing where he is. He finally gets the kill. There it is. The trades come out. Keep easily going in. KB gonna take him out though. Now, only a few more seconds left on the cap. The Saints are about to do this one in no time at all. And now all that's left is A, and we're all already seeing progress over on A here with Brandon. Yeah, Holy Newberry down. are gonna be running in here, sprinting into this one. They need to get back quickly. One tick already captured. KB has a beautiful angle to watch out for his teammate. Finds one. Gensley are gonna take down a second. Has to just try and stay alive here. Gensley gonna find a third. As the Saints are one tick away. That should be it. The team wipe come through. And Saints are gonna find the capture. They're gonna find the Series 3-0. And they're gonna be victorious in this matchup. Yeah, congrats to the Saints. They're going to advance even further here. And what an amazing showing tonight. I mean, Brandon really woke up in this second series, along with Priestley. They were the stars of the show, especially in this last match. But that's not to put down any of the other teammates. Nacho and KB also were amazing in that first series as well. And what amazing two series we had on show tonight. The first one was so hard fought for the Saints and they just barely, just barely won that one out. Yeah, just barely won that one 3-2. And then in that second series, you could see their momentum was really flowing. They won that first hard point of their LTVs, but then in the Search and Destroy, it was a hard, hard fought Search and Destroy. They came back to win that one. And then in the Control Game Mode, they looked very, very strong, only dropping one round, take the Series 3-0 and move on. Yeah, it was an amazing showing all around. Great times tonight, but it's late. I'm sure everyone's tired and ready to head to bed soon enough. But thank you very much for joining us here for these games. Now we're going to close things out here. So thank you to our sponsors, Tim Hortons, HyperX, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. Thank you, everybody in the back to make this possible. Amanda, Aiden, Tommy, and thank you, Theo, for joining me up here on the desk. And thank you, Mr. Danners, for making this all possible. And Thank you, everybody, for watching, and also <laughs> join us tomorrow for another stream. We're going to be streaming Valorant tomorrow, so make sure to tune in. And if you want to know when that's all happening, where it's happening, make sure to follow our socials to stay up to date on everything Saints-related events, tournaments, whatever you want to know. We even have videos of the players, you know, if you want to get to know them a little bit more. It's a great time over there, so make sure to follow us there. But with all that being said, thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, and that's all we have for tonight, so good night. All right.